No, I am not in England. I'm in LA at the Charlie Hotel. See, I'm in LA. In today's video, we're gonna take you on a tour of this historic 1920s landmark that's been converted into a unique boutique hotel. Followers of this channel know that the Swank Guide loves modern architecture, and this ain't that. So what's up with this wreck, you ask? Well, this place is what I'd say is a hidden gem in a sea of bland LA hotel offerings. This place isn't for everyone, but we think it has something special to offer, and so does the neighborhood it's in. We'll show you all of it. The hotel's in West Hollywood, right off of famous Melrose Avenue. So the Charlie is a 14 room boutique hotel in West Hollywood that used to be owned by Charlie Chaplin. The Charlie was owned by Charlie Chaplin during the golden age of Hollywood. Stepping through the gates and into the English garden transports you into 1920s Hollywood. All right, let's go have a look around. So all the rooms here have names. This is the Charlie itself. Named after, guess who? Charlie Chaplin, yes. And <laughs> apparently he lived here for a quick minute. Um, and I guess that's why this door is so short. Um, I'm 5'11 and I am uh, some hitting the top here. Come on in. This is definitely one of the nicer and more expensive rooms at the hotel. It's two stories and 1,300 square feet. I love these beams, the fireplace, and I know this sounds cheesy, but the place is cozy. What I think so special about this place is the golden years of Hollywood vibe that permeates the whole hotel. Because there's a complete kitchen and dining table, this would be a good option for longer term stays or if you wanna be able to cook for yourself. Okay, let's go upstairs. There's this old time office space, Okay, maybe it's not that practical, but neither is going to a museum. The office leads into the spacious bedroom. The hotel's done a great job bringing the 1920s Hollywood vibe to life, with period pieces on the walls, these Charlie Chaplin canes across the fireplace, and other knickknacks around the place. The grounds really make you feel like you're in an English garden. The architecture's English, the landscaping's English, but also very 1920s LA at the same time. There's even a stained glass window of Charlie in one of the rooms. Quick walk through the grounds here. <laughs> I mean, it totally looks like England, right? There's an outdoor dining table and fireplace that any of the guests can use. In terms of price, this place is mid-range with rooms starting at about 350 bucks a night if you book early. The other rooms have names of other stars who stayed here like Marilyn and Marlene. My room was about $600 a night, but it's 1,300 square feet and Charlie Chaplin did live here after all. The hotel's all suites that are on one or two levels, sleeping two, three, or four people. Check out our free PDF and I'll tell you which rooms are best and which ones to avoid, like the ones next to the loud gate. There's a deck for all guests to use above the parking area. One of the things I love about this hotel is that it's in a charming residential area. The Charlie's on a quiet residential street with 1920s and 30s Spanish style bungalows and some pretty grand Spanish style homes too. But then mixed into the neighborhood is some pretty interesting modern architecture. Only a block from the Charlie is the Schindler house. I can't do justice to this place on video and it may not look super impressive by today's standards, but come on. This place was built in 1922, before modern architecture was much of a thing. It's better in person, and I think it's super cool. The hotel's a five minute walk to Melrose Avenue in West Hollywood. It's not my favorite part of town, but there are tons of shops, restaurants, and bars to choose from. 
And before we move on, a reminder that we're supported by you, not the hotels we review. So please like and share this video, and it really helps when you subscribe. Thanks. So what else do you need to know before you book? There's central AC, there's no gym, the hotel's pet friendly, there's no restaurant on site, and kids are welcome. Okay, let's do some ratings. They get an eight for internet speed, it's fast. A 4 for accessibility, there's no ADA rooms, and a very respectable 8 for the bed and pillows. Thanks, Charlie. You know, what I love about this place is it is oozing with charm. It feels like you've stepped back into 1920s Hollywood. It's really special. It's also in a great residential neighborhood, so it's a beautiful, kind of quiet place, but you can walk to shops and restaurants really easily. And I think this is also a really good option for folks who want to stay a bit longer or have the option to cook with a full kitchen. Check out the other hotel wrecks we're making for LA, from chic and glamorous to laid back beach to hidden gems. And we've tried to include the most interesting neighborhoods in the city, as well as a range of price points. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.